Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's been a great weekend. I hope you all have had a great weekend. Um, before we get started with today's video, I want to send a shout out to my newest members, which is Marcus Warner and Dan Snickles. Now, I want to thank both of you guys so much for becoming members of my channel. You don't know how much it means to me. And Marcus, thank you so much because you've been a longtime viewer and commenter on my videos. So thank both of you guys so much. It means a lot to me. Now, on this channel, I have covered a lot of arch distributions and arch spins, but today I'm covering a brand new arch distro, which is Crystal Linux. Now, their website is getchrist.al. I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. And it just basically says it's a brand new arch distro, friendly, powerful, and easy to use. Now, they've customized the GNOME desktop and they were calling it the onyx desktop it's kind of a cross between gnome and budgie i'm going to show that to you here in a second but it's really beautiful it's really easy to get around in as well we will scroll down here it's got time shift to make backups of your system what's really neat is it has a different installer than you're used to it doesn't come with the calamari's installer and i'm going to show that to you here real quick as well and then amethyst which is a fast efficient lightweight AUR helper to let you download those AUR applications that you need that you can't get from the regular repositories. And then you scroll down and it's got their community, which is forums, Twitter, Mastodon, GitHub, Discord. And then back up top, you've got your home, your forums, docs. You can change the, the website from light to dark or dark to light or set it up to go along with your system, however you want to. And they do have, let's zip on over here. This is your GitLab for Crystal Linux, and it kind of lets you know some different information over here. It shows you your miscellaneous, your packages, your software. You've got your epics, your issues, and it's just a quick way from their website to get over and kind of see what's going on with the distribution. I like the fact that it's a really a one-click type thing there, but I do want to show you here. Let's go back to the previous screen that when you want to download it, you just click on Download. And then you scroll down here and your ISO is right here. Now, once you do install it, you're going to have some updates and I will show you that on the desktop because this is from September 13th and it will install all the updates once you install it. So what I'm going to do here real quick is go ahead and zip on over to the desktop. And if you download Crystal Linux, throw it on a USB or open it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. The first thing that's going to pop up is Welcome to Crystal Linux. And this is the Jade installer. And let me show you a couple things that are different because I know a lot of you out there are used to the Calamares installer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and hit start. And right here, it's going to bring search for your time zone. So what I'm going to do is just put in America, Chicago. And there it is right there. So I'll go ahead and set that and click next. And select your keyboard layout. I'm United States all the way at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and United States and normal. Let's go ahead and click on that. Click next. Create your user. What you'll do here is just go ahead and create your user. And now remember, this is all got to be lowercase. And then you got to put in your password. So let's go ahead and throw in a password. And enable administrative rights for the user and enable super user account. I'll leave those up. And then you come over here, and this is where you're going to want to select your desktop. Now, right here, we're using the Onyx desktop. As you can tell, it's kind of got a budgie feel to it down here, but you don't have the side notifications that you get with budgie. Everything down here is a little bigger. You get a single panel. Then you click on your show your apps. Those would pop up. And, of course, they would be able to be brought up with the super key as well. Then you've got your power button down here, date and time. And then right here, if you click on that, this shows you the updates that you have pending. And then you can also look at what updates you've got. Just zip up here and click on that. And this will show you all the updates that are pending. It'll give you a nice list of them. We're not going to update right now because we are in GNOME boxes. And you've got caffeine right here. If you click on it, it'll automatically set suspend and screensaver to disabled. So let's go ahead and go back to that. And we will get to the rest of this here in a moment. But if you want to install this, you can come down here. You can pick Onyx, Gnome, Plasma, Budgie, XFCE, Mate, Cinnamon, LXQT, Sway, i3, Awesome Window Manager, and B-Spawn. 
So you've got a lot of different choices that you can set up right here. Some distributions that use the Calamari's installer will give you these choices sometimes, but some don't. But I like having that right there in the install tool. It makes things really easy. Then we're going to go ahead and click next. You can enter your host name right here. If I wanted to, I could just make that eBuzz Central. Matter of fact, I'll go capital E and Central. There we go. And then click next. Now, because I am in GNOME boxes, I've only issued this 21 gigabytes right here. I would just pick automatic partitioning. I'd go ahead and click on that and click next. And then right here, it gives you a summary. Your time zone, keyboard, what desktop you're using, and then, of course, your IPv6 disabled, time ship enabled, and then ZRAM D enabled. Then you could click next and it would say installing, but we're gonna go ahead and cancel out of that because we are not going to install it. Now, what we're gonna do next is go ahead and come down here and I wanna pull up a terminal because I wanna go ahead and run an HTOP. Actually, I wanna do a NeoFetch first. Let's do a NeoFetch and that pops up. Go ahead and make that bigger and it lets you know you're running Crystal Linux OS, KVM Kemu. Kernel version is 5.19.7 Arch. Packages 717 and 3. You've got 717 that are Pac Man and 3 that are flat packs. It's running GNOME 42.4. Window Manager is Mutter. And it shows that I'm running it on an Intel i5. And that gives you pretty much what you need there. Let's go ahead and do an HTOP if I can spell it correctly. It doesn't have HTOP. Let's go ahead and run a top. And right now we're using about 770 megabytes of the two gigabytes I have issued to it. So it's running pretty lightweight with the GNOME desktop. So there is no complaints there. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And I want to go ahead and see how we get software. Now I might not be able to do this seeing how I don't. That's what I thought. Not enough disk space. Free up some disk space. But you can see this is very familiar territory if you've used any Linux distros out there. It lets you know right here you've got two updates. You've got uh, GNOME Application Platform 42 that needs to be updated, then your Mesas, and then down here we've already looked at these updates right here. So that's how you would get software onto the operating system. Now it should have just the regular files, and it does. It's got a great, beautiful look. I think it'll be even better once they up it to GNOME 43. Uh, I know Fedora just dropped, I think, this evening, Fedora 37 with the GNOME 43. So maybe they've got GNOME 43 coming to this. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe once you install it and update it, it would probably go ahead and switch you to GNOME 43. So let's come back down here. Let's just kind of see what kind of applications you get. You've got weather, you got clocks, you got your extension manager, of course, Firefox, Gparted, uh, utilities, you got your regular disks, disk usage, fonts. Let's go ahead and back out of that terminal. The Jade graphic user interface, that's just the install program we were just looking at. Of course, your system monitor, your settings, hardware locality, gedit, uh, vim. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. And it's got your regular settings for background and your regular settings over here. If you're used to GNOME, let's go ahead and go about. Uh, device name Crystal Live. It's not telling us anything that HTOP and NeoFetch hasn't already told us. It uses the X11 window system. And then you're going to have your regular changes up here that you can make settings wise in a Linux distribution. Let's zip on over to appearance. What kind of different looks do we have here? That's kind of different. I will leave that up. Well, guys, that's just a quick look at Crystal Linux, a new Arch distribution that is available out there with the Onyx desktop. It's a spin on Budgie in GNOME. If you had to ask me, that's what it feels like and looks like to me. Uh, it has Jade Installer. It has Amethyst AUR Helper. And it's pretty light on resources. So if you're somebody that's using Arch or a separate Arch distro at the present and you want to give something else a spin that seems to be a little fresh and is new on the block, I recommend zipping on over and downloading Crystal Linux. I'll make sure to include that link in the description below. Is it something you might download? Is it something that you might use in a virtual machine? Let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video, if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. 
And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, we are on three separate platforms, YouTube, Utreon, and Odyssey. And you can become members on all three. On YouTube, it's only 99 cents. On Utreon, it's $2.99. And on Odyssey, it's $4. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe go over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.